So we saw some cooler temperatures for your Sunday, but since then that trough has actually pushed further towards the east. The upper level low sitting over the Great Lakes area, bringing those much cooler temperatures and as that moved off, allowing those warmer temperatures to kind of build back for us here in the southern plains, uh, seeing a return to those 80s. And we're going to continue that warming trend as we go through the next couple of days, but we have actually seen a couple of spotty showers again. There's that upper level low, not seeing those cooler temperatures, just some very isolated showers in towards parts of West Texas, and that's been very beneficial for us here in the Concho Valley as well. Again, seeing some of those isolated showers through the early morning hours, now kind of starting to see a little bit of a banding effect. Uh, again, seeing these showers kind of come together, making its way in towards Sterling County. So be seeing some rumbles of thunder here in towards Sterling City over the next half hour and also seeing another band of some showers in towards Crockett County. So we're expecting these showers to kind of move across. Doesn't look like we see anything in again right now for us here in San Angelo, but we did see a little bit of a development just off toward the northern parts of town. Again, that all pushing off towards the east as we continue into the evening hours. Again, as we time everything out for the next several hours, again, we could still see some of those showers and storms linger into the evening and overnight hours. So it's not going to be quite done with the rain chances even after sunset could hear some rumbles of thunder overnight as well though as we get into tomorrow morning we'll start to see those rain chances decrease still hanging on to the cloud coverage that's likely to persist into the early morning hours and throughout most of your day on tuesday so a little bit of the cloud coverage is going to keep things a bit on the cooler side for at least one more day until those winds start to take effect that's going to warm things up for the second half of the work week once we see those clouds break up we're going to still see those southerly winds in place and we're already seeing those right now. Gusts up to 30 miles per hour. We're expecting breezy conditions basically all week long as we see those winds out of the south. That's going to keep things on the warmer side as well. 70s and 80s right now for most of the Concho Valley. 84 degrees here in San Angelo. 82 in Ballinger. A couple of pairs of sevens in Eden. Brady also in Menard also looking at a pair of sevens. And again, looking at our cactus cam, seeing some of that increased cloud coverage, a little dark spots with some of those rain showers embedded with it. But again, the temperature is 83. The winds out of the south at 13 miles per hour, though, as we go into the evening and overnight hours. Again, a storm or two certainly possible. 20% chance of a shower will cool back down into the upper 50s with those winds staying out of the south, a little bit more out of the southwest as we get into tomorrow. Breezy once again, and the temperatures starting to creep their way back up into those mid 80s for us tomorrow. Those southerly winds expected to stay breezy for the next several days. That's going to allow our temperatures to start to climb back up into some of those low 90s as we get into the second part of this week. Again, that high pressure really rebuilding for us. Again, that's going to allow those warmer temperatures, not just for us here in the Concho Valley, but for much of the southwestern United States. Though, as we get in towards the end of next week, our next cold system pushes in towards our area for the weekend. That's going to be bringing us the chance for some isolated showers as well as a significant drop in those temperatures. So it's going to be a little bit of a thermal whiplash over the next couple of days. Going at your seven day forecast again into the mid 80s for us tomorrow. We see the return to those low 90s. That cold front though will arrive late on Friday. That's going to see a drop from the 90s into the 70s just in time for the weekend.